Hello, and welcome to a new series, FTB Infinity Evolved. Uh, I have mentioned it on some of my other episodes, I'm probably going to start this series, but I was waiting for what was called Hard Mode, but it's now called Expert Mode to come out. So this is version 2.02, as you see at the bottom left, that contains some fixes, and let's get started. Um, let's just play this world. So you may have noticed on that screen I have cheats on, that's for one reason, one reason only, that's because I wanted to turn on the expert mode. Uh, alternatively, you could enable land mode and set yourself up so that you can uh, upgrade, but um, you'll see in a second what we have to do once it loads into game for me. Here we are. Um, once it lets me move, that is. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I, I just first, first thing you need to do when you get into game once the world's uploading, is type FTB mode set expert. And that may take a second. There we go. Game mode set to expert. What does that change, you may be asking yourself? What is the whole deal with this hard mode? Well, it's not actually to make it any harder. I'm just going to start punching wood while I explain. Uh, in terms of, you know, mobs and environmental stuff that that is pretty much the same as normal infinity what it does however is make it um well more challenging to progress or rather it forces progression if you want all the great mods i'm going to get some lag here while everything's generating don't worry about that that shouldn't uh, be too long uh, if you want to progress or you, well, you have to progress really um you're going to have to go through pretty much all of the mods it, it is somewhat linear by comparison to something like uh, the dial 20 series where you can just pick up what you want but to give you an idea of um just how hard it can get if we look at the angel ring which is kind of middle game for most people um after killing the wither, you know, it's, it's something like a four gold blocks and uh, a nether star, something like that. Um, not so much. <laughs> this and various other uh, things uh, are part of the extreme crafting system. Not all recipes are like this, don't worry. Uh, if they were, <laughs> it'd be crazy. But that, to give you an idea, that's, that's the kind of thing we're actually talking about. Um, it will just force you to go through certain things. So, uh, the other thing, like Great uh, Greg Tech, if you've played Great Tech, do bear in mind that you'll get two wood from each uh, of these, and do also bear in mind that you only get two sticks from each of these. So, as and when you start the game, you set expert mode, you're going to have to start punching wood pretty fast um, because as soon as it turns night time you're going to need that wood to, to make your first um, first items and you're pretty much going to have to start with Tinker's Construct I know a lot of mods already uh, a lot of mod playthroughs already start with Tinker's Construct anyway and people sometimes get sick of that but this is the kind of the starting point if you like for the rest of the mod pack so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and find a cave, I'm going to set up the first Tinker's Construct stuff, most of that you'll have already have seen of course, uh, probably over there somewhere, and uh, I'll come back once I've got that set up, because you don't want to see me punching wood for a while, do you? Do you really? Anyway, shortly uh, into a cave. And here's my cave and a couple of bits of progression later. Um, spawn is all the way over there, I just kept on going this way, which is east, until I got to somewhere that I kind of liked, and uh, this is it. So inside, I've just put a couple of drying racks, they're just made from basic pieces of wood, again, the Tinker's Construct, uh, not very hard to make. Um, drying racks, drying racks. Yes, yeah, just three wooden slabs, nothing uh, urgent there, just one furnace, so I am really, you know, at the start of the game, do make sure you pick up a bed first, and then the usual Tinker's Construct stuff. If you haven't seen this before, stencil table allows you to make uh, stencils, which you can then, of, of different types, which you can then combine in the part builder uh, to make the actual part, so that could be a pickaxe head by putting a piece of stone in there, for instance, and then you combine those multiple pieces together, you know, the pickaxe head, the wooden binding, and the, the tool rod. I have covered that in my other series, so I'm not going to cover it too much. I, I haven't gone very far into Tinker's Construct. In particular, I haven't even got a, a smelter yet, and that's one of the things that I'm going to need. Um, I did... Oh, by the way, I should mention the seed. The seed is G-R-A-Y with a capital G. Grey. And if you look at these coordinates, uh, I got quite lucky. I didn't... I 
did no exp uh, exploration whatsoever to find this, but uh, I came down here and where are we? Uh, a bit further down. Yeah, so in here I found Stronghold. I think that's what they're called. And um, that was kind of lucky to start with. That was, you know, really handy. But if we come through here, um, mm -hmm, down here, I think. Yeah, down one, and down it again. It's probably going to be right over there. You see that, those steps? You just about see them there. That's the end portal. So I found it completely by accident. I did not have an eye of ender or any ender pearls really around to do that. But I'm kind of happy. That means uh, we should be able to get to the end fairly soon. However, I'm not uh, particularly in um, a good mood to be killed by the dragon. Um, <laughs> it's far too early game for that. I don't have any stuff yet. Uh, so yeah, um, this is where I'm going to start. So let's just hop our way back up. And this is going to take about 10 minutes. Uh, I do need some step up uh, step assist gear as soon as possible. I did make myself um, a flint pickaxe, flint broadsword, flint hatchet. Again, they're made using this. Um, I forget the mod that you can use to put, you know, a flint hatchet and a piece of flint to repair it. That is not in here. Um, that's just something to bear in mind. They're turning to jerky now, which is good. Um, if you want to get a guide to the Infinity Vault system, if you click on this uh, book icon now, it has a guide to getting started. So if you're ever lost, that's a good place to get started. But yeah, this is just a, a quick guide to the start and uh, where I'm going to be living. Uh, well, temporarily, I want something. I'm probably going to need a lot more space. Things I'm planning in this series, and I'll just do that while I'm collecting more wood. Um, I think I'm going to be in this series. I do want to get into some of the mods I haven't touched before. And Infinity does have a number of those, including Draconic Evolution, which is... A uh, rather fancy mod that um, adds this huge power storage structure, a uh, big sphere. Um, I think everyone wants to craft that as soon as they see that mod, but uh, I do as well. I'm no different. Um, also, um, I, some of the more immersive and, well, they're not really space-saving um, mods, like Immersive Engineering, that's in here. Um, but that's, uh, it's more a matter of if you've seen Factorio or other indie games like that. It's a lot like planning out your your assembly line on the ground, if I remember rightly. Uh, you know, so you might have conveyors and um, machines that are built up from lots of different parts rather than, um, you know, just one block that does everything and you upgrade that one block. Um, for other subscribers of my channel, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to. Um, I'm going to be starting a rotary craft tutorial soon. Um, I have just finished a mechanism tutorial. Uh, so the rotary craft one is going to be uh, quite similar to the immersive engineering in that you don't really have a space saving, all the powers generated per machine. You don't really store it anywhere. I hate tall oak trees. That's just going to really annoy me. Um, so that should be a good one to cover as well, if you like realistic stuff, um, that the uh, Rotary Craft uh, separate tutorial should cover you for those kinds of things. Uh, other mods that we've got in Infinity, um, well, there's a lot of crossover with the Die Wolf 20 pack, but the, because of the Infinity Evolved difficulty system, they're going to be <laughs> newer and harder to actually create, so I'm not too worried about those. Um, lots of the recipes are going to be different. Uh, some mods that aren't really in there? Um, hmm, I wonder. Forbidden Magic, I'm not sure if it's in the Dire Wolf 20 pack. Um, that should be interesting. Similarly, Thormic Energistics, that's an extension to A2 to add into Thormcraft, which I'm looking forward to because that enables a lot more automation of Thormcraft. IC2's in here. If you haven't seen IC2 for a long while, then it's kind of going to be forced because um, that's part of the progression too. And oh, I'm probably missing some stuff here. Um, I don't see any other immediate ones on the list. Anyway, I will be looking at those. To start off with, let's just look at what we need to progress for the next set of tools. So, a couple of early tips here. Um, you're going to be really short of wood, and using these torches instead of these torches will save you wood. To do that, just use some, um, just make some tool rods, which are in here, with some stone. Whoops, 
but in the right place. I may help get a few of those. Oh, I don't need those particularly. Just keep getting stone tool rods. And put these in and get some more. So we've got six of those, and you can combine those with coal or charcoal, but you don't want charcoal because you'd be burning wood, and you get more torches. Also, with tools, here's the problem we've got. And pickaxe. You know, we're going to upgrade from stone or flint to iron. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> this only has one durability, so as soon as you knock a block through, it's going to disappear. I did see a post for someone who was trying to use them, and he was literally like burning through iron pickaxe after iron pickaxe, just destroying one block. Not the way it's meant to be done. Um, you are going to need furnaces for this, and here's the problem again. Furnaces. Yeah, simple, you might say. Not so much... And that's going to be my <laughs> that's going to be have to be my catchphrase for this entire series. A furnace contains compressed cobblestone recipe. So eight times 70, 72, Are they? Uh, yeah, yeah, seventy two stone per furnace. So luckily, you know, I have a fair amount from actually just digging down. Uh, helps if I don't move my mouse off screen. Uh, seven. I'll get some more. Just convert everything that I've got to it. And then we're going to make some furnaces. Uh, three more. So, we got some furnaces. We need to make a, um, a smeltery. I have to get an area to burn some ores. Um, so, to do that, just like you would normally expect, as far as I know, let's see if this recipe has changed. Sand, gravel, and clay makes grout. And I'm going to make up all... I don't have two stacks of clay. I should probably have got that, but this should do for now. And then just divide it evenly into four. And this is where I'm going to... Oh, 30 each. This is where I'm going to need that to actually burn uh, wood. I don't have any alternatives here, really. Um, although I do have rubber wood, that... that yeah... I don't think I can convert that into plank. Can I convert the planks? No, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to use up the rubber wood. I don't actually need that too much. I had, hmm, coal or wood? Yeah, I'm going to use wood, I think. Um, coal, I've got a bit of, but I don't want to spend it all. And I've got pretty basically a, a tree farm out there now. So let's just burn more of this wood up. And... Uh, oh, yeah, let's convert this first into planks, which we get not very many of, and it's sticks, and let's just divide this by two, and then we've got four furnaces going. Okay, so let's burn all that up, and then wait till we finish. All right, so we've got 120 seared bricks now. That's been cooked up. By the way, if you do run out of durability while you're doing this, you can repair stuff in the tool station. You just can't do it from your inventory uh, with flint. So if you need to, just put your tool here and then a piece of flint there, and you'll get a repaired tool. Um, not as handy as, I think it's a couple hundred tweaks. I mean, it's one of those or something like that that allows him uh, repairing in inventory, but um, no biggie. You can just come back to the tool station. So let's make some things up. Um, we're going to need a few things. Uh, one is a control, and that reminds me I'm going to need a piece of I'm going to need a piece of glass. What's your controller? Just get some glass, and I want... Where's that wood? There we go. Um, let's just cook a bit of that up. So we've got a controller, oh, we're going to need a, a tank that's coming with the glass. We're going to want two drains total, and two faucets, or taps as we call them in the UK. Thank you very much. Um, I want a basin and a table. And I want that glass. Glasses for the tank that contains the lava. And I'm going to need... Oh, yeah, I've still got quite a lot of uh, seared bricks. <laughs> I thought I was nearly out. Um, let's just... For the moment, I want nine of these uh, for the centre. 
And yeah, let's just make them all up. <laughs> let's see if I've got enough to actually go. So you can make uh, small trees at loads of different sizes now. I tend to stick with the original size, but you can make them two by two in the center like this or three by three, four by four, etc. Entirely up to you. Uh, to start off with, I'm only probably going to want one layer. I don't need too much uh, going here. So something like that. And then maybe a tank on this side. Assuming this is valid. I'll see any second. Uh, two drains with this. And then I forgot to make a window. Never mind. I can see over the top for this start. Uh, is that a valid structure? Invalid structure. Uh, is that because they're... Yeah, it looks right. Why are you invalid? Uh, let's just swap this around. I guess I've put something here. Let's just get rid of this stuff. And let's put the drains on the side. And the control and tank in the middle. Ah, now you now you're valid. Okay. So yeah, just like if you've used this before, then you you'll know pretty much what's coming up now. Uh, let's just get rid of you and you. And we're gonna make some casts. We're gonna need to do that for our better tools. So let's get those out of the way. I want the base on one side. Let's put you on this side. And the two taps faucets and the casting table. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's just shove you in here for now. Now let's see if I can cook up the aluminium. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to need lava first. Oh, which needs... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I've got a bad feeling about this. I need something to transport lava, and that's a bucket, and... <laughs> oh, have I got clay buckets? Spirit buckets. Oh no. Really? Yeah, I just realised. They're, they're going to make things hard for me. Iron plates, which needs iron, which needs a forge hammer, which needs treated sticks. Which needs refined wood ash and a stick, which needs me to smelt wood ash, which I get from smelting saplings. Is any sapling? That would be good if it was. So let's step back up that. So I'm going to need eight wood ash from saplings and a stick to make one treated stick. I'm going to need two treated sticks. So that's 16 wood ash and 16 saplings. Well, assuming that this works with any sapling, let's give it a go. Um, let's just make this into... Oh, no! No! Oh. Waste of wood. Yeah, don't waste wood. <sighs> yeah, normally I make buttons instead of making those, but it's close enough anyway. Uh, let's put them on top and let's see if this makes wood ash. Come on, come on, come on. Will you make wood ash? Yes, you will. Okay, so let's go back to the bucket. So we need three iron plates. Each iron plate needs two iron ingots, which means I need to burn up two iron uh, for each one. So let's say I need six iron. Do I have six iron? I should have. I can't double yet, you see, so I'm going to have to burn them in a normal um, furnace. Uh, let's get rid of you. And borrow some of those, thank you. Get some more wood ash and a stick. So, uh, right, so... Treated sticks. Oh my god, and I'm going to need five more iron, so... Fine. Okay. Waste of mine to start off with to make one bucket. Just one. Uh, I was looking for clay buckets as well, and I don't think they exist. Nope. 
clay buckets in other mod packs, you can use them once for lava. But uh, no, in this, you're just going to have to uh, grin and bear it. Um, put some more iron in, and I'm going to eat all the rest of this wood that I've got standing by. Luckily, I've got a small forest outdoors. Let's not waste this time around, please. Ha, <laughs> nearly made buttons. So, so often I do that. Um, okay, let's get half of you in here and half of you in here. So we can make one treated stick, but that's not going to help us too much. But, um, uh, where was I? So, yes, iron plates, forge hammer, treated stick. Uh, is refined wood ash. I need to smelt them again. I need to double smelt it to get the refined stuff. Wow. Okay. Uh, probably going to run out of fuel. There we go. I'm going to go and get some more wood once it's light, and uh, I'm going to come back when I've got the ingredients to make a bloody bucket. Yeah. Okay, that uh, should be burned up now, nearly. Or at least I've got enough, I think. I've got one treated stick, I've got eight more, so yeah, that should do. Uh, let's just grab all of you. God, that was terrible. <laughs> and a oh, regular stick. There we go. Another treated stick, so two of those, and then five this way. Four hammer, and then like this to make three iron plates. You'll notice that this goes down; it has only a certain number of uses. So that kind of means aha, one bucket. It kind of means I'm probably going to have to get a tree farm going fairly early on. Um, to get everything working. So I'm going to go now and uh, go and find some lava. Some digging later, and we've got a bucket of lava. Finally. It's going to be a hell of a first episode. I've got a bucket! Um, but aside from that, uh, we've now got some lava, so we should now be able to cook down some stuff. Uh, let's just give this a go, and let's see if the aluminium will cook down. What I'm actually looking for is aluminium brass. Oh, aluminum brass, depending on how it's going to be spelled. Aluminum, okay. Too American, but what can you do? Um, forget the ratio. Ah, oh, let's wing it. Um, just dump a piece of copper in there as well. And let's see what comes out. Of course, we're going to cast on this table, so we're going to need uh, a pickaxe head pattern. Got a piece of stone, that will do. And there we go. It's just going to be used as a, um, a negative blank, if you like, or blank. Most of multi aluminium, 8 to 2. I think it's something like 4 to 1 or 5 to 1 or something like that for aluminium brass. I could look it up in the book, but uh, hey, it's about to uh, melt down. Come on. And... Multimedia and brass, eight, two. Yeah, so I probably needed another, uh, maybe another aluminium and uh, some more of that, but that should be fine. This should make a cast, which is what we want. And now we should be able to make um, a pickaxe. Now, I wonder which ones are available from Tinker's Construct. Um, let's see. Do we have copper? Well, I've got, have I got some copper left in there? Probably don't. Let's cook up some more copper and let's see if I can get a copper one. If not, I'm just going to go for iron, so I may as well put some iron in there as well. And I'll see if the Tinker's Construct iron one lets me actually do anything but craft. Hopefully it will let me, but we'll see. And, uh, you know, I'll come back when this is cooked up. All right, so having a look in the book. Uh, this is volume two, by the way. If you need to know how to make these, if you don't 
already get them automatically. It's just a piece of paper and a stencil to get the first one, put it back into the crafting grid to get the second one, and the third one's the smelting one. So we already get that when you make a smeltery. Uh, so let's have a look in here. I want the materials. So wood, that's no use, mining level one. Uh, iron is mining level two, which is redstone. Interesting that it's not mining level one, which is iron. Hmm. Um, both flint is mining level one. That's where we haven't, we haven't been able to move up any. And the same thing with bone and paper zero, cobalt and ardite we don't have access to until we get uh, cobbles, um, cobblestone. Obsidian for the uh, nether portal. Manual into no go. Copper is only level, mining level one iron. Bronze is redstone. Steel is cobalt, so steel will be good for us to get to. But I suspect steel is actually going to be hard for us to make. This is expert mode, of course. So we have an option here to... I've got some tin, uh, I've got some iron, and I've got some bronze. And I can make it out of anything. Iron is probably more common, so let's just make it out of iron and let's see where we get to. Where's my cast? I made a couple on just to verify things, but yeah, it was... Uh, it wasn't good. Uh, move the iron to the bottom by clicking on it, and then click on this to make a cast. All right, so let's see if this actually works or whether we do actually need to use that bronze. Um, whoops, wrong place. We want tool binding, and I can just use uh, wood for this first version. Need a bit more wood. Ah, good. Uh, we want the tool rod. And let's make this up. Uh, pickaxe. Okay, so that is actually a higher mining level. Let's just pop down into the mine and let's just verify to see what this actually lets us mine out and what we couldn't with the original. Um, whoops, that is tin which I could already mine. I need that for them to make bronze, of course. Um, and down here I should have some other stuff. Silver I can now grab. Fine. Redstone I can now grab, which is very, very good. Uh, I'm probably going to be able to do diamonds, of course. I can do lead, which gets me get rid of a lot of blockages. Ferrous, cool. Lead, yellow right, I could already do. Diamonds is in here. Oh, I can actually mine diamonds with an iron pickaxe. Look at that. Achievement get. Iron and dense redstone. So importantly, of course, that means I can make a diamond pickaxe if I need to to get some obsidian. And the obsidian is useful for a whole bunch of things, really. Um, one of the things is, of course, this material. Um, oh, I didn't stay on the page. Uh, obsidian. Uh, that's mining level three. Uh, and of course, the one we're on is steel. Uh, not steel. Bronze. We're on mining level two. So three would be obsidian, four would be steel. Let's look just before I end the episode, I think, because I think we've uh, come far enough for this first episode, even though we've just got a bucket and a pickaxe. <laughs> it is expert mode. Uh, steel. Um, electrical steel, not so much. Dark steel, that's both end dry -o. Uh, I could do with... Is it regular steel? Immersive engineering. Block of steel. Blast furnace. Okay, what do we need for the blast furnace? Blast furnace brick, uh, there's two. Okay, so for the railcraft one, we want balls of glue and bricks, that's clay. The ball of glue is glue on the casting table. The alternative is ender pearls or oh, TNT. That needs gunpowder, which needs creepers. Uh, what is the ball of glue? Sticky glue bucket. How do I make this sticky glue bucket? Glue binding, yes. But how do I just get glue? 
probably involves chugging horses into this. It probably is going to be horses. It may not tell me. No. I may have to try and lead a horse into a... Uh, <laughs> A conveniently placed smeltery, and <laughs> we'll see what we actually get to. So, I think for this first episode, that's uh, great for now. We've got the bucket, which is the first um, major part of getting things going, and we've got uh, some improved tools now, which we can replace as time goes on. Um, once again, if you'd like to see more episodes like this, feel free to like this episode, share it around with other people, and subscribe if you're not already. This has been Great Duster. Thank you very much for watching this first episode of Infinity Evolved Expert Mode.